Well, that was a dull game, wasn't it? Um, I can't even recall a proper chance, to be honest. Uh, yes, it's been two days since we played, or three days, or whatever. Uh, i got to be honest, I kind of forgot to do the review, purely because it was so dull. Um, yeah, I mean, Bruno had uh, an off game, but he still looked almost dangerous threat, to be honest. Uh, I also think that Maguire and Shaw were terrific in this game and they finally got some credit really. Uh, they nullified City's attack really well. Maguire made about 9 or 10 um, either interceptions or tackles in the game. Shaw didn't really put a foot wrong either. Um, but yeah, it was just dull. It deserved to be nil-nil really. Neither side really did too much. Um, just not a lot to talk about to be honest um you know that's not much of, of a review i suppose but at the end of the day you can only you can only talk about what you can uh, i'm sure we had a couple of half chances um city did uh De Gea made one decent save i think um he didn't put a glove wrong either to be honest it was just yeah it was just dull as you know uh so yeah luckily for us no one else in the top six managed to win Spurs drew, Liverpool drew, um, Chelsea lost. Um, it was interesting because one of my best mates is a Chelsea fan and even he uh, thought they'd lose that one purely because Chelsea were on such good form, Everton were on such poor form and it just seems to happen in the Premier League quite a bit and yeah, I mean, Everton deserved the win. Same with, <laughs> with Arsenal. Oh my God, 1-0. Against Burnley with Xhaka choke slamming someone to get sent off. Hey, hey, wow. I just don't understand why the media attention is on Oli. I checked the betting uh, this morning on the 14th, two or three days after the Manchester derby. And yeah, uh, Arteta is now the favourite to sack, uh, be sacked. But he's still 3-1 to one with most places. Which, you know, means for those who don't bet... Um, three times your your stake so if you put 10 pound on you'll get 40 pound back um and th that's not huge like that means that the media don't anticipate him getting sacked uh, sorry not the media the betting companies but yeah it, it's it's crazy i mean they're lounging in what 14th or 15th in the league uh the five points above the relegation zone we're five points off the top with a game in hand sick of seeing with a game in hand we just need to play that bastard game in hand we've got sheffield united next uh, who are on one point so far from 12 games. So, of course, they'll beat us. But, you know, realistically, we should pick up three points there. Uh, then we've got Leeds. And then it's Everton in the Cup. And then a few other favourable games. Like I think within the next five, we play Fulham as well. So, there's no top six side in there, I don't think. So, you know, we've got every chance of actually competing. But, yeah, Oli's 8-1 to one to get sacked, which I think is the fourth or fifth favourite. Which is the lowest he's been in a while, to be honest. But... I just, I feel like he's held to a different standard and it's really annoying. Yes, you know, the Leipzig game is ridiculously annoying and, you know, my match review on that will undoubtedly be hilarious for any rival. But, you know, that, that, was, that was made straight after the game. You know, it's fresh in, in the heart. We've just lost. We're just out of the Champions League. So, of course, I'm irritated. I'm infuriated. But still, even in that video, I didn't really diss Oli too much. Um... I feel like he's doing a good job at United. And yeah, call me deluded or whatever, but I mean, we've had five, what is it, four? No, three Premier League losses since January, um, you know, which is lower than most. In terms of the form, we're known as this inconsistent counter-attacking team. Well, we've had four goals. Four of our goals this season have been from counter-attacks. Uh, I can't remember how many we've scored in the Premier League, but something like 20, I think, or wait, it'll be more than that, I imagine. Uh, whatever, but anyhow, four... Per Four goals are from counter-attacks. Um, you know, our inconsistency, well, on the form table, we're top from the last five games. Uh, you know, we've had the best form of anyone in the league over the course of the last five games. Um, what other stats, you know, do you hear a lot? Uh, Panandes, you know, there's been three players with more penalty goals than him, including Mohamed Salah and Jamie Vardy this season. Um, what else? I don't know, it's just a lot of myths around United, really. I, I don't know why, it's just peddled by the media. Like the, the negativity circles around and people seem to think that we're, uh, well, the worst of the worst. But yeah, you look at other teams and the, the teams that have been praised so much, like Spurs, I think are what? 
Well, they're five points ahead of us at the minute, but of course they did beat us. Uh, and again, we have that game in hand. Um, they are doing really well, but at the end of the day, they're just camping eight men behind the box and having Kane and Son carry. Like, yeah, Bruno Fernandes is ridiculous for us, but in terms of his percentage of goals that he's contributed, uh, whether that be goals or assists, Kane is way, way higher than he is. Uh, without Kane or Son, you know, Spurs will struggle, really, really struggle. Where do the goals come from? Like, you know, Lucas Moura, um, Bergwijn, Bale, who's played about 20 minutes. <laughs> like, you know, it, it, they're, they're reliant, overly reliant on them. They, they can't, well, I, they can, of course. They can keep them fit, you would imagine. But if one of them does pick up an injury, they'll slide down the table like that. Uh, Chelsea haven't beat a top 13 side this season so far. That's incredible. Uh, what a stat that is. And yes, they're one point ahead of us or two points ahead of us, but again, game in hand. Um, and they've had a lot of plaudits, maybe rightly so. You know, I'm, I'm not... What I'm trying to say is the difference, the difference in positivity and negativity between a few measly points in the table is just incredible. I really don't understand it. And Arsenal were dubbed as this brilliant, fucking, unbelievable team that Arteta had st instilled his vision within five minutes because they won the FA Cup. And my God, I mean, Burnley hadn't beat them since 1974 or whatever it was uh, at the Emirates. Um, they're on the worst run, I think. They haven't won it at home in five since 1951 or whatever it is. Um, <laughs> Arteta's having the worst start to a Premier League season for an Arsenal side. You know, the stats just keep piling up. They've had seven red cards since Arteta was manager. The rest of the leagues had three tops. Um, you know, there was that game against Wolves where three Wolves players had created more chances than Arsenal had, the entire team. Aubameyang scored more own goals than actual goals at the Emirates this season. It's just ridiculous. And yet, it's, it's literally rival fans that are bringing you those stats or live during the game after that the, the media just yeah there's a little bit more negativity now but i mean that's because it's five home losses it's taken five home losses in a row to even come close to the criticism that ollie gets for one loss it's just double standards it really is but anyhow you know uh manchester <laughs> i barely talked about it don't know how that can be the title but there it is there wasn't much to talk about to be perfectly honest like as I say, there was a few half chances, but neither side really went for the win, to be honest, which is a little bit disappointing. But a draw is better than a loss, I suppose. And we've got a favourable run. So, you know, and a quarter final in the. What is it now? Is it still the Carabao Cup or did they change sponsor? Whatever. But yeah, we've got Everton, who of course will be on a high after beating Chelsea, but overall are on pretty poor form. So it should be an interesting game. But anyhow, hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.